Welcome to another episode of Cookie Vision. In this video, I'm going to be making some mermaid sugar cookies. Now, I didn't actually have a mermaid cutter, so I used a snowman cookie cutter that I had flipped upside down. As per uh, Sweet Sugar Bell's uh, tutorial she has on her blog, which is an amazing tutorial and it's, a, it's really a great idea for uh, repurposing a cookie cutter that a lot of us already have. So I'm just doing the, the bottom half of the mermaid and I've got this nice turquoise screen and I've outlined it with a number two tip piping consistency and filled it in with a flooding consistency of the same color. Now I'm just piping some dots into the green uh, to add a little bit of texture uh, while it's still wet. And I just use a blue piping consistency, but you could use a flooding consistency as well. I didn't need very much, so I just used what I had. And now I'm piping the hair. So this is a number two tip with a nice reddish orange color, a piping consistency. I'm just outlining the outside and then I'm filling it in with the same color uh, in a flooding consistency. And I just use my scribe tool to get it all towards the edges and get rid of any air bubbles. And I want to make sure that the red is crusted over enough that I can do the, uh, the skin. And I'm just using this ivory color. This is a number two tip, piping consistency. And I'll fill it in, uh, the face first actually, with uh, the flooding consistency ivory color. And I want this to crust over a little bit before I do the, the body part and the arms because I don't want the colors, or sorry, the two sections to run into each other. So I just want this to crust over just enough so that I can do the bottom section without it running into it. So I've let the face section uh, crust over a little bit and now I'm just uh, doing the flooding consistency ivory on the body as well and using my scribe tool to get it all towards the edges. And I've let this completely dry overnight. This is what I usually do. I flood all my backgrounds and let them dry overnight and do the details the next day. I have some pink petal dust. I'm just giving a little color to the cheeks with a cotton swab and dusting it off with a brush to get rid of the excess. And I have the same piping consistency red that I used uh, to outline the hair and I'm just adding a little bit of uh, texturing for the hair. And I'm making tiny little hearts uh, basically coming off the one side and this is going to be a little braid uh, just because I wanted to give her a little bit of long hair. I thought that would look kind of cute. And that's what Sweet Sugar Bell did as well so I just kind of went through with it. I like the idea. And just gave her a little belly button with a little quick dot with the piping consistency ivory. And I gave her some little fins on the top of her tail with the same blue that I used for the dots on her tail. And I've just got a stiff consistency uh, purple here and I just piped a quick little flower and put a little white sugar pearl on top. I made sure that my purple was a nice uh, stiff consistency because I do want it to hold its shape for the flower and I've also fitted the same purple with a star tip uh, for the seashells on the, on the chest so I just want to make sure that they hold their shape nicely so they keep that nice texturing. And I've got some black dye that I've mixed with a touch of vodka just to make it more uh, diluted and easier to paint with. And I'm just doing some quick little eyes. I just got the little U shapes with a few eyelashes coming from the bottoms. And I fitted this blue uh, stiff consistency again uh, with a leaf tip and I'm just using it to make a few little uh, fins at the bottom of the tail. And again you want to make sure it's a nice stiff consistency just like the purple so it holds its shape. And you can see how that turned out. So a huge shout out goes out to Sweet Sugar Bell uh, for this awesome design. You can visit her tutorials, her website at uh, sweetsugarbell.com. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like me on Facebook and on Instagram. Bye!